we're doing bread pudding which is simple to make and it's as it can be as rich and as delicious and you can even flambe it if you want you know if you want to go that extra step and pour some brandy on it and light it up to make your evening more special so that's what we're doing today Before we get down to making the bread pudding, I'm going to make some orange marmalade. I have these uh, wonderful peels left over from uh, oranges that I've been juicing up. So let me show you how to make a very simple marmalade that you can use for the bread pudding. Don't waste your orange peels, especially the pinu ones, because they're not so bitter and uh, they really make a nice jam. All you need to do is take out the pith, that's this white stuff from the inside. And if a little bit stays, it's all right because uh, that bitter taste is what one really loves in a marmalade. So this is all cleaned and now I'm just going to pulse it. I don't want it too fine. This is what it becomes. And now I will put this in a pan with some sugar and a little lemon juice and boil it. Mmm, smelling so good. Reduce the flame and let the sugar sort of melt gently. Don't forget you have to keep stirring this otherwise the sugar will burn. Because we didn't add any water it's already thick and it's a nice consistency to sort of add in the pudding. I'm going to add half a lime. I don't want it too sour. I don't want the custard to curdle in the pudding. So this is done. I haven't thickened the marmalade too much because I don't want the sugar to start crystallizing. I need the spreadability to be easy. I'm just covering it and letting it cool till we actually need to use it in the pudding. Time to make the bread pudding. I'm going to preheat the oven at 200. Bake mark for... I'm putting it at 40 minutes so that I don't uh, need to reuse the timer. And while that is heating, what I'm going to do is... Uh, create a little caramel in the bowl that I'm going to be baking. So I'm going to put this in there. Let the butter melt and the sugar melt. And meanwhile what I'm going to do is get all these nuts. I've soaked these so that they're easier to peel. I have some cranberries and some raisins, which I'm going to chop. Just rough chop so you don't get big bits in your mouth. Cashew nuts. So I think that's about enough. And these will get scattered on the bread. I'm going to remove the crusts of the bread. I'm going to bash up these eggs. Just two should be enough. Add a little sugar. Remember there's uh, that very sweet marmalade going in as well. So you don't want this too sweet because then you'll have a really excessive sweet pudding. So if you're going to be adding say a cup and a half, I think. Okay, so 10 teaspoons. So you just bash this up. Now I will add a cup. I think that should 
clean up. Just a little bit. Cup and a quarter. Milk. Just need to make sure that the sugar is getting dissolved. Can you see it? So I hold it on the right. Just adds a little bit of interesting flavor to the uh, bread pudding, that's all. It's not necessary, you don't have to do that step. So what was I doing? Okay, this was dashed up. I'm going to add some vanilla to it before I forget. Make sure you mix in the vanilla nicely. Okay, so that can sit there. Now I am going to butter my bread. I don't need to butter the bottom because it's already got butter there. Add this, see how nice and jammy it's become. So, spread it a bit. Again, no need to overdo it because you don't want anything overpowering. Layer number two. So this will go into the oven. And leave there till the custard is set. I'm going to reduce the heat a bit to about 175 and uh, half an hour should do. Don't let me down. <laughs> Don't let me down. <laughs> Always sing to your food. It comes out better, believe me. Oh, look at that. So, it looks like my bread pudding is done. It's got a nice crust. Look at that. You can see the layers with the marmalade. I really wish you guys could smell this. Mm. A lot of people would say add some cinnamon, add some nutmeg, but you don't need anything because that yummy orange zest marmalade is doing it all. And it's nice and soft, not gooey, not mushy, the caramels at the bottom, buttery. Mm. This is the best.